Galicia, Ukrainian and Russian, Galicina, Halicina, Polish, Galicia, Czech and Slovak, Halic, German, Galician, Hungarian, Galicia, Galiz, Gaxorzag, Halix, Romanian, Galicia, Halisi, Russian, Galicia, Galicia, Yiddish, Galizy, Galicia is a historical and geographic region between Central and Eastern Europe. It was once the small kingdom of Galicia Volhynia and later a crown land of Austria Hungary, the kingdom of Galicia and Lodomeria, which straddled the modern day border between Poland and Ukraine. The area, which is named after the medieval city of Halic, was first mentioned in Hungarian historical chronicles in the year 1206 as Galiciae. In 1253, Prince Daniel of Galicia was crowned the King of Rus Latin, Rex Russiae or King of Ruthenia following the Mongol invasion in Ruthenia. Kievan Rus. In 1352 Kingdom of Galicia and Volhynia was annexed by the Kingdom of Poland as Ruthenian Voivodeship Latin, Palatinatus Russia. The nucleus of historic Galicia lies within the modern regions of western Ukraine, Lviv, Ternopil and Ivano-Frankivsk near Halic. In the 18th century, territories that later became part of the modern Polish regions of Lesser Poland Voivodeship, Subcarpathian Voivodeship and Silesian Voivodeship were added to Galicia. It covers majorly such historic regions like Red Ruthenia centered in Lviv and Lesser Poland centered in Krakow. Galicia was contested between Poland and Ruthenia since the medieval times and in the 20th century between Poland and Ukraine. In the 10th century, several cities were founded in Galicia, such as Volodymyr and Jaroslaw, that marked their relation to the Grand Prince of Kiev. There is considerable overlap between Galicia and Podolia to the east as well as southwest Ruthenia, especially a cross-border region centered on Carpathian Ruthenia that is inhabited by various nationalities. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Origins and variations of the name. In the 13th century, King Andrew II of Hungary claimed the title Rex Galiciae et Lodomeriae, King of Galicia and Lodomeria. A Latinized version of the Slavic names Halic and Volodymyr, the major cities of the Principality of Halic Volhynia, which the Hungarians ruled from 1214 to 1221. Halic Volhynia cut a swath as a mighty principality under the reign of Roman the Great in 1170 to 1205. After the expulsion of the Hungarians in 1221, Ruthenians took back rule of the area. Roman's son Daniel of Galicia was crowned king of Halic Volhynia. He founded Lviv Leopolis, named in honor of his son Leo I, who later moved the capital from Halic to Lviv. The Ukrainian name Halic Gallic Halas in Polish, Gallic in Russian, Gallic in Latin comes from the Qualis or Kalis who occupied the area from the time of the Magyars. They were also called Kalizioi in Greek, and Kavalis Valis in Ukrainian. Some historians speculated it had to do with a group of people of Thracian origin i.e. Geti that during the Iron Age moved into the area after Roman conquest of Dacia and may have formed the Lipizia culture with the arrived Veneti people who moved in the region at the end of Latine period Latine culture. The Lipizia culture supposedly replaced the existing Thracian Hallstatt see Thraco and Vysotsky cultures. Connection with Celtic peoples supposedly explains its relation to many similar place names found across Europe and Asia Minor, such as ancient Gallia or Gaul, modern France, Belgium, and northern Italy, and Galatia, modern Turkey, the Iberian Peninsula's Galicia, and Romanian Galati. Others assert that the name has Slavic origins, from Halitza, meaning a naked, unwooded hill, or from Halka, which means jackdaw. The jackdaw was used as a charge in the city's coat of arms and later also in the coat of arms of Galicia. The name, however, predates the coat of arms, which may represent canting or simply folk etymology. Although the Hungarians were driven out from Halic Volhynia by 1221, Hungarian kings continued to add Galicia et Lodomeria to their official titles. As part of Galicia Volhynia Wars, in 1349, Casimir III the Great of Poland conquered the major part of Galicia and put an end to the independence of this territory. Upon the conquest, Casimir has adopted a following title Casimir by the grace of God, King of Poland and Rus, Ruthenia, Lord and Heir of the Land of Krakow, Sandomierz, Siaraj, Lachica, Kuyavia, Pomerania. Pomerelia. The title in Latin was, Casimiris, Dei Gratia Rex Poloni et Russi, Nec non Krakowi, Sandomiri, Serati, Lansiki, Quiavi, et Pomeraniac Terrarum et Decatum Dominus et Heres. 
Following the death Casimir, Poland entered into the personal union with Hungary and Ruthenia Galicia was ruled by a Ruthenian lord Vladislaus II of Opol who was appointed by the King of Hungary. Later Galicia was ruled for short time by various Hungarian voivodes of Ruthenia. Under the Jagiellonian dynasty, the Kingdom of Poland was revived and reconstituted its territories. In place of historic Galicia appeared Ruthenian voivodeship. In 1527, the Habsburgs inherited those titles, together with the Hungarian crown. In 1772, Empress Maria Theresa, Archduchess of Austria and Queen of Hungary, decided to use those historical claims to justify her participation in the First Partition of Poland. In fact, the territories acquired by Austria did not correspond exactly to those of former Helich Volhynia. Volhynia, including the city of Volodymyr Volinsky Wolinsky, after which Lodomeria was named, was taken by Russia, not Austria. On the other hand, much of Lesser Poland, Nawi Sach and Chemizel 1772-1918, Zamysk 1772-1809, Lublin 1795-1809, Krakow 1846-1918 did become part of Austrian Galicia. Moreover, despite the fact that the claim derived from the historical Hungarian crown, Galicia and Lodomeria was not officially assigned to Hungary, and after the Ausgleich of 1867, it found itself in Cisleithania, or the Austrian-administered part of Austria-Hungary. The full official name of the new Austrian province was Kingdom of Galicia and Lodomeria with the duchies of Auschwitz and Zadar. After the incorporation of the free city of Krakow in 1846, it was extended to Kingdom of Galicia and Lodomeria, and the Grand Duchy of Krakow with the Duchies of Auschwitz and Zadar German, Königreich Galizien und Lodomerien mit dem Groerzogtum Krakow und den Herzogtumern Auschwitz und Zadar. Each of those entities was formally separate, they were listed as such in the Austrian Emperor's titles, each had its distinct coat of arms and flag. For administrative purposes, however, they formed a single province. The duchies of Auschwitz and Zadar were small historical principalities west of Krakow, on the border with Prussian Silesia. Lodomeria, under the name Volhynia, was not ruled by Austria but by the Russian Empire. Ethnic <inaudible> groups <inaudible> <inaudible> Mountain dwellers, larger kinship group, Zizaki or Gorals of Zywiek place, Gorel Zywiki, Babiagorsi or Gorals of Babiagora, Gorals of Rabka or Zagorzani, Klizaki, Gorals in Podhale place, Gorel Podolanski, Gorals of Nawi Targ or Noatarzani, Gorel Pinanski or Gorals of Pienini and Gorel Sadeki, Gorals of Nawi Sach, Gorals of Spies or Gardlaki, Kurtesi or Zukansi, Lemkos, Rusniks, Boykos, Wurchowinsi, Taholsi, Hutsels, Zarnagorsi. Dale dwellers, larger kinship group: Krakowia C, Mazuri, Grebowia C, Lesavia C or Barauchi, Glushani M C, Belzani, Bazani, Lopotniki, Peleshiki, Opolani, Walinaya C, Pabarezki or Nistroani. Topic: History. In Roman times, the region was populated by various tribes of Celto-Germanic admixture, including Celtic-based tribes, like the Galice or Gallics, and Bolahini or Volhynians, the Lugians and Cotini of Celtic, Vandals and Goths of Germanic origins the Przeworsk and Puchov cultures. During the Great Migration period of Europe coinciding with the fall of the Roman Empire, a variety of nomadic groups invaded the area. Overall, Slavs both West and East Slavs, including White Croats, Lendians as well as Rusins came to dominate the Celtic German population. In the 12th century, a Rurikid principality of Halic Halas, Halix, Gallic, Gallic formed there, which merged in the end of the century with the neighboring Volhynia into the principality of Halic Volhynia. Galicia and Volhynia had originally been two separate Rurikid principalities, assigned on a rotating basis to younger members of the Kievan dynasty. The line of Prince Roman the Great of Vladimir in Volhynia had held the Principality of Volhynia, while the line of Yaroslav Osmamazil held the Principality of Halic later adopted as Galicia. Galicia Volhynia was created following the death in 1198 or 1199 and without a recognized heir in the paternal line of the last prince of Galicia, Vladimir II Yaroslavich, Roman acquired the Principality of Galicia and united his lands into one state. Roman successors would mostly use Halic Galicia as the designation of their combined kingdom. 
In Romans' time Galicia Volhynia's principal cities were Halic and Volodymyr in Volhynia. In 1204, Roman captured Kiev, while being in alliance with Poland, he signed a peace treaty with Hungary and established diplomatic relations with the Byzantine Empire. In 1205, Roman turned against his Polish allies, leading to a conflict with Leszek the White and Conrad of Masovia. Roman was subsequently killed in the Battle of Zawihost 1205, and his dominion entered a period of rebellion and chaos. Thus weakened, Galicia Volhynia became an arena of rivalry between Poland and Hungary. King Andrew II of Hungary styled himself Rex Galiciae et Lodomiriae, Latin for King of Galicia and Vladimir in Volhynia, a title that later was adopted in the Habsburg Empire. In a compromise agreement made in 1214 between Hungary and Poland, the throne of Galicia Volhynia was given to Andrew's son, Coloman of Lodomeria. In 1352, when the principality was divided between the Polish Kingdom and the Grand Duchy of Lithuania, the territory became subject to the Polish crown. With the Union of Lublin in 1569 Poland and Lithuania merged to form the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, which lasted for 200 years until conquered and divided up by Russia, Prussia, and Austria. In 1772 with the partition of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, the southeastern part of the former Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth was awarded to the Habsburg Empress Maria Theresa, whose bureaucrats named it the Kingdom of Galicia and Lodomeria, after one of the titles of the Princes of Hungary, although its borders coincided but roughly with those of the former medieval principality. Known informally as Galicia, it became the largest, most populous, and northernmost province of the Austrian Empire until the dissolution of that monarchy at the end of World War I in 1918, when it ceased to exist as a geographic entity. During the First World War, Galicia saw heavy fighting between the forces of Russia and the Central Powers. The Russian forces overran most of the region in 1914 after defeating the Austro-Hungarian army in a chaotic frontier battle in the opening months of the war. They were in turn pushed out in the spring and summer of 1915 by a combined German and Austro-Hungarian offensive. In 1918, Western Galicia became a part of the restored Republic of Poland, which absorbed the lemko russian Republic. The local Ukrainian population briefly declared the independence of Eastern Galicia as the West Ukrainian People's Republic. During the Polish-Soviet War the Soviets tried to establish the puppet state of the Galician SSR in East Galicia, the government of which after a couple of months was liquidated. The fate of Galicia was settled by the Peace of Riga on 18 March 1921, attributing Galicia to the Second Polish Republic. Although never accepted as legitimate by some Ukrainians, it was internationally recognized on the 15th of May 1923. The Ukrainians of the former Eastern Galicia and the neighboring province of Volhynia made up about 12% of the Second Polish Republic population and were its largest minority. As Polish government policies were unfriendly towards minorities, tensions between the Polish government and the Ukrainian population grew, eventually giving rise to the militant underground organization of Ukrainian nationalists. Topic. People In 1773, Galicia had about 2.6 million inhabitants in 280 cities and market towns and approximately 5,500 villages. There were nearly 19,000 noble families, with 95,000 members about 3% of the population. The serfs accounted for 1.86 million, more than 70% of the population. A small number were full-time farmers, but by far the overwhelming number, 84%, had only small holdings or no possessions. Galicia had arguably the most ethnically diverse population of all the countries in the Austrian monarchy, consisting mainly of Poles and Ruthenians, the peoples known later as Ukrainians and Rusyns, as well as ethnic Jews, Germans, Armenians, Czechs, Slovaks, Hungarians, Roma and others. In Galicia as a whole, the population in 1910 was estimated to be 45.4% Polish, 42.9% Ukrainian, 10.9% Jewish, and 0.8% German. This population was not evenly distributed. The Poles lived mainly in the west, with the Ukrainians predominant in the eastern region. Ruthenia. At the turn of the 20th century, Poles constituted 78.7% .7 of the whole population of Western Galicia, Ukrainians 13.2%, Jews 7.6%, Germans 0.3%, and others 0.2%. 
The respective data for Eastern Galicia show the following numbers, Ukrainians 64.5%, Poles 21.0%, Jews 13.7%, Germans 0.3%, and others 0.5%. Of the 44 administrative divisions of Austrian Eastern Galicia, Lviv Polish, Lwau, German, Lemberg was the only one in which Poles made up a majority of the population linguistically. The Polish language was predominant in Galicia, according to the 1910 census 58. 6% of the combined population of both Western and Eastern Galicia spoke Polish as its mother tongue compared to 40.2% who spoke the Ukrainian language. The number of Polish speakers may have been inflated because Jews were not given the option of listing Yiddish as their language. The Jews of Galicia had immigrated in the Middle Ages from Germany. German speaking people were more commonly referred to by the region of Germany where they originated, such as Saxony or Swabia. For inhabitants who spoke different native languages, e.g. Poles and Ruthenians, identification was less problematic, but widespread multilingualism blurred the ethnic divisions again. It is, however, possible to note that Galicia was a very Catholic state. Catholicism was practiced in two rites. Poles were Roman Catholic, the Ukrainians belonged to the Greek Catholic Church, but were both overwhelmingly Catholic. The Jews represented the third largest religious group. Galicia was the center of the branch of Orthodox Judaism known as Hasidism. Economy The new state borders cut Galicia off from many of its traditional trade routes and markets of the Polish sphere, resulting in stagnation of economic life and decline of Galician towns. Lviv lost its status as a significant trade center. After a short period of limited investments, the Austrian government started the fiscal exploitation of Galicia and drained the region of manpower through conscription to the Imperial Army. The Austrians decided that Galicia should not develop industrially but remain an agricultural area that would serve as a supplier of food products and raw materials to other Habsburg provinces. New taxes were instituted, investments were discouraged, and cities and towns were neglected. The result was significant poverty in Austrian Galicia. Galicia was the poorest province of Austro-Hungary, and according to Norman Davies, could be considered the poorest province in Europe. <inaudible> <inaudible> Oil and natural gas industry Near Drohobych and Borislav in Galicia, significant oil reserves were discovered and developed during the mid-19th and early 20th centuries. The first European attempt to drill for oil was in Babarka in western Galicia in 1854. By 1867, a well at Klecheny, in western Galicia, was drilled using steam to about 200 metres. On 31 December 1872, a railway line linking Borislav, now Borislav with the nearby city of Drohobych, now Drohobych was opened. British engineer John Simeon Bergheim and Canadian William Henry McGarvey came to Galicia in 1882. In 1883, their company, McGarvey and Bergheim, bored holes of 700 to 1,000 meters and found large oil deposits. In 1885, they renamed their oil-developing enterprise the Galician Carpathian Petroleum Company German, Galizisch Karpathisch Petroleum Action Gesellschaft, headquartered in Vienna, with McGarvey as the chief administrator and Bergheim as field engineer, and built a huge refinery at Mariampol near Gorlis, south of Tarno. Considered the biggest, most efficient enterprise in Austro-Hungary, Mariampol was built in six months and employed 1,000 men. Subsequently, investors from Britain, Belgium, and Germany established companies to develop the oil and natural gas industries in Galicia. This influx of capital caused the number of petroleum enterprises to shrink from 900 to 484 by 1884, and to 285 companies manned by 3,700 workers by 1890. However, the number of oil refineries increased from 31 in 1880 to 54 in 1904. By 1904, there were 30 boreholes in Borislav of over 1,000 meters. Production increased by 50% between 1905 and 1906 and then trebled between 1906 and 1909 because of unexpected discoveries of vast oil reserves of which many were gushers. By 1909, production reached its peak at 2,076,000 tons or 4% of worldwide production. Often called the Polish Baku, the oil fields of Borislaw and nearby Tustanovica accounted for over 90% of the national oil output of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. 
From 500 residents in the 1860s, Borislaw had swollen to 12,000 by 1898. At the turn of the century, Galicia was ranked fourth in the world as an oil producer. This significant increase in oil production also caused a slump in oil prices. A very rapid decrease in oil production in Galicia occurred just before the Balkan Wars of 1912-13. Galicia was the Central Power's only major domestic source of oil during the Great War. See also Kingdom of Galicia and Lodomeria Subdivisions of Galicia Bukovina Podolia West Ukrainian People's Republic Galician Soviet Socialist Republic Halic Volhynia History of the Jews in Galicia Eastern Europe. Lesser Poland List of rulers of Halic and Volhynia List of Galician rulers List of towns of the former Kingdom of Galicia and Lodomeria Massacres of Poles in Volhynia and Eastern Galicia District Galician Galatia Topic. Notes Topic. References Topic. Citations Topic. Sources Topic. Further reading Topic. External links Jewish Encyclopedia 1902 Map of the Oilfields in Galicia